everyone and welcome to today's episode. Today we'll be building some user authentication application using Node.js, Express to handle our routes, Bcrypt to, Bcrypt to hash our password so it will be easier to maintain inside our database which we'll be using MongoDB and to create MongoDB account you can check in another my episode but you have to try for free and register after you register your account you should accept the mail and you should create the database by create the cluster tier m0 m or mo it should be free to go for you also and the most important thing you should have download node.js with long term long term super version and i encourage you to check our routes if everything works correctly as it should you should have provided the postman so just download it for free and we are ready to go you don't have to create account on something like that the only thing you have to do is to get the postman to your product to your operating system okay and with that in mind we should open our ade and create the folder in my case it's node authentication folder which i create and initialize npm init y so i start my node.js application and because we are building node application using some other libraries like uh, for example back bcrypt or for example mongodb will be using mongoose we need to install them so first of all express also mongoose to handle our mongodb database back bcrypt to handle our hashing passwords or encrypting our password and also body parser of course we don't have to because express also provide the parsing the json to uh, express routes but right now right today we'll be using body parser to make more view of some kind of options that node.js provides to us and one everything when everything is installed we can provide and create the index.js which will provide and have everything that we'll have to and we'll need to have so first of all we need to call express to create to get our express library then mongoose mongoose whoa whoa mongoose and get our mongoose also we need bcrypt and it requires bcrypt and the last one what we need is body parser and we require body parser okay so we installed and we provide each of the libraries that we'll be using inside our node.js application First, we need to initialize our app export application. Also, when we are using that, we should make app.listen to listen that on port 3000 because we'll be using that and some kind of return. So we check if everything, everything's work correctly. So listening, listening on port 3000. Okay. The next thing that we'll need to do, we need to create, is to make some kind of usage of our middleware inside our case, our middleware so program that help us inside uh, the application will be body parser to parse our JSON file to more readable options for our application. So app use body parser that's JSON, and with that will be ready and will be available to handle our routes okay but also we need to get our mongoose 
And to get our Mongoose, we should go back to our MongoDB. When you create it and go to your database, you've got something like database access. And right there, you can and you should create the new database user, which will provide and which you will be able to get the data for, from. I just created that user you can create. I will show you how. Add a new database user. For example, we'll create 123, 123. You should provide more sophisticated password. And also, you have to get the built-in role. Remember that authentication method is password. Atlas admin or read and write to any database. And with that, we are adding the user. So our user is 123. We're going back to database and we click connect. When we click connect, we can connect our database to VS Code. And with that, we copy that string, which contains username and password, which will be filling right away. And when we copy it, we have to connect our Mongoose, so our MongoDB, to the database. And to do that, it's very simple, because the only thing that we have to do is mongoose.connect. And right there, we'll provide our string. Of course, we will get one to three as username and password, because it's mine. Your should be another. And the next thing we need to make some options that will help us to provide and don't get a lot, a lot of errors and some uncommon things. We should provide two options. First of all, is use new URL parser, which will be true. And the next one is use unified topology, which also is true. Okay, and with that, we connect to our database. And right now, our database should have some kind of schema. If you don't know how MongoDB would, is working, you should go to some kinds of course about that, some tutorials. I will briefly introduce you. When you are using Mongoose, you have to create schema, which will provide what type of data we should provide to our database. So we'll create that schema right there and we create from the schema the model that our database will be using later on. User schema and new mongoose.schema and inside that we'll provide the username with type. So the value, uh, the field should be username and it will, should be string. Also, will make it required. So we have to make sure that user provided. And the next thing we should get the unique option because MongoDB can check if that username is created before. If it is, it will return some kind of error or some kind of response that will later on provide. Also we'll have to have password it also will have a type string and we will make it required to true and that's all also if you would like to make it happen to make it harder to understand you should check if password one equals password two but it should be at for example front end and or inside your verification inside the application so right now, when we just created our schema, we should make it as to create a model from that schema, which we'll be later on using. Uh, you'll call it user, and that model will be from user schema. Okay, we created our database, we connect our database, we create our model. So right now, the only thing that we have to do is to create our routes and check if everything's working and whatever would change whatever will fail will make it happen of course when you're creating some kind of application that type types of data should be inside another folder but 
to make it simpler for you, to make it more readable for you, and you will be able to provide and see everything, and our code will not last, for example, more than 60, 70 lines. I hope that you should handle and stick with that in that case. But remember, you should create more files and more usable your code if your code will grow larger than I provide right now. So the first route that I will create will be post and the second also will be post. So we will have two route of posts. First one will allow us to register our account. Then to register our account and use our database, we need to make it asynchronously, asynchronous function for that from that. And we need request response. As always, we are using Express and our create our routes. Also, to catch our errors, we should make try catch block and inside our try we will check and create our password hashing and sending and saving our username. So first of all, we'll track, track, check if we can check uh, hash our password and we will hash our password. So we'll await decrypt and decrypt provides something like hash. As you can see, hash <coughs> needs two things. First of all, is data string that will just hash so it will be our request that body that password that will later on provide from our postman as i will show you and the next one is the salt of rounds and as you can see the salt is to use in the inscription if it specifies number then a salt will be generated with specific number of rounds and use so with how complicated and how many rounds of hashing our passwords should be remember that number should not be also uh, very very big it will not help you have a lot but it will can cause some problems i will just provide for example as you can see there's uh, 10 and i will just get 10. okay and the when we just created our passport we should get user and create our new user that will be our model so model to our database and as a username we will provide request that body username and also password and we'll provide hashed password over here okay also we have to get and save our user and if our user is registered, we should send the user registered. If it's not, we'll send the error, only the error. Okay, so we handle our very brief and very easy register for our account. The next one will be login and we'll make async a function and the request response also over there okay first of all we will check if we can find out the the user that we are looking for so cast user and we'll be using await and we'll just find one from our database and we'll should we'll be looking for usernames and we'll get username that body that username that will provide through our post in our postman application. Okay, and we'll check if it's user, if something is provided, we'll check if it's valid password. So right now we also and provide our backcrypt to compare if request that body that password is the same as our user password as you can see we compare data string so our request body password with to our string so uh, sorry sorry we our data string that we just provided to our encrypted string that we've got inside our database and check if it 
is valid. So the password is okay. We'll right now only send the uh, information logged in. But also, so if it's not valid, we'll send the incorrect password. But what's happened if our user does not exist? We'll provide the rest that sent incorrect username. And okay, and with that in mind, we provide our login and also register. We create our date, we connect to our database, we create our schema model and used all of the dependencies that, that we just installed over here. And with that, we are inside our folder, we create node, index.js and we start our server. Something doesn't work because I missed fall over there with 2p. Okay. Recreate our new application, everything's working. Okay, right now please open your postman and if you open our postman, you should have some kind of windows. First of all, you should create a new collection by clicking create new collection. When you are inside your collection, you should add request and inside that request, you should choose post because we'll be using post. Right now, we'll be, for example, using, I, as you can see, I've got a lot of them. So HTTP slash column localhost 3000 and the right there, you should get register. Okay, when you just create your, law, your link, you should go to the body, go to the row. And when you have text, you should choose JSON and right there, open curly braces and create username. Remember, it should be in the quotes everything. It should be, for example, just program it. And the next thing should be password. We'll create it very easy. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll send it to our database. User search is start. We should go to our database, browse collection, check a second, back to closer. We should wait a second because something doesn't work right now. Okay, our database would not like to help us right now, but we can check also uh, in another way. If you cannot check your collection over here, you can also check if you can log in to your account. So we only change the ending of our URL and send if we can log in. And as you can see, we've logged in. But what happened when we change our password? So we delete it for, as you can see, we've got incorrect password. And also when we provide for, everything should work correctly. But tell me what's happened when we just create register. Because as, as you know, we created our register as a unique. So we should not provide the, let's program it as a new username. So we'll send, as you can see, there's a key value of just program it, which is provided inside our application, our MongoDB database, sorry. So it's to, everything's for today application, for today notes. And I hope you enjoy it and like it. If you have any questions, ideas, leave in the comments below and have a good day. Bye.